It's beautiful. <laughs> I want it. So the I I I like the hands better on this than yeah. um that was the first thing I noticed. I But I love these guns. It comes with a so tremendous cool. amount of guns. Yeah. Cuz it's that, America. <laughs> that's exactly cuz the other one came with swords. So yeah. I'm literally going to have to um make some changes in my display <laughs> when this gets released yeah i because i i just i don't know what i'm gonna do i don't know no i'm trying to see where my order is welcome back transformers fans to another thrilling episode of bot versus con as always i'm james the con and i'm bobby the bot and before we get into this rather interesting round of news, let's um, give a big shout out to The Chosen Prime, where you could go ahead and get all of your Transformers and action figure needs. Also, a big shout out to the members for helping us keep these ring lights on. And if you're just a subscriber, we really do appreciate you joining us on this journey. Yeah. All right. With that being subscribe, said, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Listen to your bot and let's get into this. So, first, DF Con Toronto has Victor Caroli, which is the narrator, joining them, which is which is pretty cool. I actually think it's cool. Uh, I think he was in L.A. as well. I think so, too. Yeah. And I actually forgot, but I I did like his voice on the, the, the narrating intros and stuff. I agree. It was pretty cool. Now let's get into this. So Hasbro Pulse, I guess, is going to have a reading with um, Frank Todaro and Arif Kitchen. Kinchin? Okay, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, Arif. Um, which is pretty cool. We both went to that. Um, what was it? The the for, the, the reading forty the year yeah. toy uh, 40. TV show, yeah. which was which was pretty interesting. And both of them, I believe, were there. Yes. So we'll see what that reading is about. Yeah, it should be interesting. Um, I wonder what else is going to happen with it, because not being funny, but these aren't the original voices, so it didn't hit That's what I thought. Out. Okay, so I wasn't mistaken. I knew yeah. Frank wasn't, but I didn't know about Arif. Yeah, um, Catman. Catman? Um, he, he did the voice for um, uh, Hong Kong Fui jazz and he passed away like okay. a while ago okay. i used to always call him cat man yeah so well that's sad but at least there's somebody to step in so yeah. now let's get into some botcon updates so the first one is they're going to have 90s exclusives and botcon 90s pre-production items in sale for sale at one place which is actually really cool um there's i see shocker rack back there who i got i have the rc um wind razor so it would be cool to finish it off but i know i think this is going to be like a silent auction so i would be scared at what some of these prices are going to get to i think you should do it you love the bot cons i would rather just not auction them and just buy them on ebay <laughs> i wanted to do that <laughs> most of these are available along the second hand um for exorbitant prices but i think you need to go pick up some of these i have no connection yeah that's why you get them <laughs> I know you're going to be mad about this, though. So the BotCon exclusive RMX-16 Overture, it's limited to 200 units. Um, I can't remember the name of the official figure. But I think this looks really good. I wouldn't mind having it if they have extra, you know, tapes, which they have before at TFCon Baltimore. That wouldn't be the first time that they had the past cons figures there. I will be picking it up. Um... They say it's limited to 200. I don't think they're like a certain source when they say it's limited. So I think this might be a little hard to get. Source? Okay. I'm, I'm a, a different source for toys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Transformers. It, right. it could be a lot of different things. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I, I need to reach out to somebody who said they'll pick up some stuff for us, for <laughs> us and see if you can pick this up for me as well. Because I do want this. Might need to make that too, if, yeah. it, if we could do that. So, time will tell. But I, what I think you're really going to be mad about this is like, oh, I want it for you. It's cool. I I like it. Um, but it's not the end of the world if I don't have it. This is what's going to really piss you off. So this is the ramen toys, 
Shattered Gullwing. I think I pronounced that correctly. Again, it'll be limited to 200. And this is the one you said, the deco you really, really wanted. You didn't want the other, like, the red, the stealth one. This is the one you wanted. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> I want it. So this is something else that I'm going to ask a friend to grab as well. Um, yeah, I, I, I want this really, really bad. Like, really, really bad. I think it looks really cool. I, I think it's trans purple. Transparent. And- like yeah, about. I, it it looks like it, it it looks like it could be, but not all the way. It it's, looks like yeah, it, it's kind of smoky. Yeah, yeah. It, so I really like that. Um, that's my favorite thing for game systems is clear purple game system. So this is really cool. Um, but I'll let you keep it and other mask people. I just want that tape. I want that. I want both. This is this. <laughs> we'll see. Who knows what else is going to come out. This is going to make me start going to BotCon. I mean, I, if the I would exclusives, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, huh, maybe it'll be on the bill for next year. Yeah. I, um, I'm I'm already pretty much want to sign up to say, let's do it. Yeah. So time will tell. Stay yeah. tuned with us for a year to see if we go or not. But let's get into some leaks. Technically, these aren't toy leaks, but they're rumors, so I just put them here. And that's the core class has been canceled. We have more, um, what's that called? More more confirmation that the core class is canceled with nothing to take its place. This is via TFW's JT Prime 17. Um, I guess they're not selling as well as Hasbro wanted it to, but we might see a few redecos in different... Um, you know, like the perce- uh, what is that? Multiple multi packs, like the Perceptor, Ramhorn, and Ratbat. Was that that one? I think that one was leaked. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, oh, and great. then yeah. the Earth Spark. They said they're so far into canceling it that they're already sending the next toy line and soliciting it to retailers for them to pus- place their orders in. So <laughs> that's it. They're wiping their hands clean and moving on. Yeah. I. You know what, what would be funny? Is in like two years, Earthspark is like caught fire and like, you know, <laughs> it, it's like some of the movies that do terrible in the movie theaters and then they hit DVD and it's like yeah. becomes a cult classic or whatever. Yeah. And um, that would be funny if Earthspark did that. If I ever made it past the third episode, I'll you know you'll 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 report back yeah no it looks I, i'm happy we get more media hopefully it'll be something better and as far as core class i think they did mishandle them so yes. i can i can see why they would be canceled um but for the tapes they're just going to put two tapes in a deluxe box now and charge 25 bucks for them yeah it's gonna be so crazy <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get into what was just announced. Um, some Transformers 1 stuff. They showed an official standee and a promotional poster. Not much to talk about here. you have anything to say? Not at all. I'll see it in the theater. They also showed off the Cog Changers, Optimus Prime, which didn't have an alt mode that I could find, and Megatron. The Megatron looks decent in alt mode. I kind of like it. It's very angled. I think it looks kind of cool. Yeah, it's it's fine for what it is. Yep. They also showed off Sentinel Prime. So I don't this guy obviously is gonna have a big part of the story. If he has like multiple figures. So we'll see. Unless they're just picking a random bot to <laughs> you know to, to make toys. Who knows at this point? It looks it looks fine as well for what it is. It still looks like dirge. Like good dirge, I don't know. Maybe that, maybe that's what this is. He's gonna like die and then be resurrected as dirge or something. That would be crazy. That would be. Next, we've got um, a Bumblebee Bluetooth um, headphones. I know this is right up your alley. You love your headphones, and this is your favorite Bumblebee, and you'd love to just pick at his brain, literally. These are cool. These are I'm these are. Really, pick them up. I'm not gonna pick them up. No, they're not like <laughs> they're not that cool. No, but 
I mean, plus I don't like those types of earbuds. They don't stay in my ear. Um, I think I think the idea is cool. I don't like that B. Uh, I don't like movie B. Um, and I probably wouldn't want Bumblebee ones at all in, in general. But to have a Transformer that I like, the quality, I don't know if I don't, I guess I would use them. No. I wouldn't pick this up even if it was like my favorite Transformer just because where are you going to put it? Like the headphones I have have a little hook that I could attach to my belt loop so they're always with me. I couldn't do that with these. Maybe they have a hook too. Yeah, and you have this giant bobblehead hanging off of your <laughs> belt or whatever. Like, <laughs> maybe it, it, it'll work for you, but it wouldn't work for me. So <laughs> Next we got some KOs. We got BMB. I'm assuming that's Black Mamba. But I don't know. And this is HMK09F Interstellar Night. And these pictures are via Tommy Park. This thing's like 13 inches tall. Mm. So it's a super oversized version. And it looks nice. It doesn't come with all the accessories of the one I got. Um, but it, it looks fine. I do like the truck mode. I always liked it. I think we've talked about that on the show before. But yeah, it, 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 I can see why somebody would get this um, over maybe the MP version. I, I'm I'm having a hard time picturing what the back looks like. Um, of which figure? Of the 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 alt mode. I'm sorry. Okay, it has big the... shins on the back, like oh, right underneath the smokestacks. Okay, yeah, I, I just don't know if it cleans up well in the back or not. I mean, uh, I don't... if it's similar to the one I have, not amazing. And that's okay. why the one I have comes with a whole place, a whole like <laughs> piece that you could clip onto it, so it, co it covers okay. it up. Okay, um, so I mean, yeah, it's it's fine for what it is. I don't think I'd be picking this up. I didn't pick up the one you got, so yeah, and I no pricing or where to order. I couldn't find any of that. So stay tuned. We'll update you when or if we figure that out. Yeah, another KO. We've got a KO Studio Series eighty six um, Grimlock. I swear these KOs are like coming out the woodworks yeah i mean this is a little late if you ask me for this figure but i can see why people would want this i think it was it was hard to get originally and i think they're re-releasing it if i'm not mistaken yeah it was I, it was very hard and and, and what's funny about that i saw like 10 of them at my target for like months and i didn't pick one up because i didn't want it and now i'm like i should have picked them all up and sold them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't do they they were like Actually, somebody um, hit us up in the comments asking if somebody was selling one and, no, really? uh, a while ago. And, you know, I didn't know anybody that was selling them. So um, it's good that they're re-releasing them. Um, yeah, like you said, I don't know how much this KO is going to be. But, you know, yeah. if nothing on company size, anything. It could be a legend-sized KO for all we know. Probably not, but it could be. So... Stay tuned for more information. Yeah. Next, we've got TMT04, which I've never heard of this company, but maybe they came out with other stuff. This is the Evasion Mode Optimus Prime, which I think is from the beginning of the fourth movie? Was last but, night, is that? No, the, no. the one Dark with the Lockdown. Moon. What is it? Dark of the Moon? Um... And then that was the one after it. Anyways... Um, this is when he's hiding out in the shed and Marky Mark finds him. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Called him Marky Mark. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks good. It looks like it's what it's supposed to, but yeah, not my cup of energon. Yeah. Mine, mine neither. Yeah. This might be your cup of energon though. Non F is doing a wind blade set. So it covers the wings and there's multiple sword options. But honestly, I can see you picking up that wing upgrade set. I would probably pick it up in black. I think that looks nicer with the contrast for her body. But it really helps improve this figure. It really does. Mine's still in the box. So <laughs> um, I won't be picking up a set. Um, I did think about it. I, I can't remember if he if he's posted prices or not. But... He did. Uh, I, I don't have them, but he did. Oh. They're they're for sale right now. Okay. 
yeah i just i haven't bought aftermarket kits for regular mainline figures in forever i'll do it for the titans and you if know, they're I the thought, titans you like too yeah well yeah i have most of the titans except for that metro that metroplex that cybertron metroplex um but uh those were the ones i was picking up like the dna upgrade kits and stuff this one does like, it does look great i just don't know if i'd want to invest in that figure yeah i wouldn't blame you next so this is um via collector's craft so he wanted to let everybody know that the acoustic wave adapter works for rat bat so you can or night bat so if you do want to get that adapter so you get to have rat bat on sound blaster soldier so i'm not even gonna try to pronounce shoulder. it again. it's been a long few weeks <laughs> or a few week see i can't even speak still <laughs> it's been a long week there, thank you, thank you. We're going to have to have a, a translation. Go ahead, continue, continue. <laughs> so, yes, so you can actually pick up this adapter by <laughs> for your for your fans' toys, uh, Robot Paradise Sound Blaster, or whatever he's called now. And Ratbat can sit on his shoulder just like uh, Laserbeak was able to sit on Soundwave's shoulder. So, there you have it. There you have it. So let us know if you're going to be picking this up. And if anybody knows, is there a relationship between Sound Blaster and Rat Bat? Or is this just how Hasbro and, you know, all these people get you to buy Sound Blaster? I'm really curious. Um, let's yeah. keep it going. So Tymon Works Cyber Giants um, has a Optimus Prime head. I like it. Oh, you're gonna get it? It's movie verse. I don't I'm not gonna get it, but I <laughs> like it. Yeah, it looks good. It, it looks you, good. you could tell it's not official, but that's not a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um it looks good. It 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 does. It looks good. I'm not really a bus person, I don't have any. Um but this looks like something fun to put together. I agree with you. I really like how they did the eyes. Yeah. It's very unique. So, yeah. I give him plus points on that. Lastly, we have Like Toys Head for Moon Studios Raiden. And you can see he's a little lonely here because the bot put a picture of his Raiden um, head, the current Raiden head next to it. And I can see why people would want an upgrade. I just hope the little orange pieces can still fit on the side. Right. That's, that's exactly what I was thinking. When I was taking these pictures, I was just like, man. This head doesn't really look that great compared to this like toys one. Yeah, I was like, he looks it looks weird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, it looks very soft. Yes, he looks like he needs to be in the Transformer one movie. It, pretty much. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, but I think if you could put those little orange pieces on the side of the like toys one, you'd have one really good looking head. Um, it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. The, the old one. Yeah. Um, it's unique, which, you know, maybe maybe is good, you know, for some variety. And I've never paid attention to it until this. And I'm like, man, he just, he looks like a nice guy. Like, he's just going to, you know. Right? He looks very, this is a wrong word, but he looks very pedestrian. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. yeah. Let's get into some updates. Um, we got a few of them. I don't think we have to talk about a lot of these very thoroughly. But first... Armada Galvatron will be coming soon, so I'm assuming he's Marco Clonus is just showing off that he's going to be having his normal picture session as well as you know a little blurb about the figure. So hopefully he'll address why it doesn't come with the minicon. <laughs> I doubt it. I don't think so either. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks fine for what yeah, it is. Exactly. Thirty-five percent. I'll pick it up. Thirty-five dollars. I'll pick it up. Not thirty-five percent off. Thirty-five percent off. I'll get it. Okay. Well, and there you go. Next, we've got Transformers Studio Series SS One One Two Transformers One Optimus Prime via Gold Chains on TFW. <laughs> the I... yellowing. And it's not really yellowing. It's the color they chose, but it looks better in these pictures than the official pictures. I it think. does. It does. It's still, I still it's... would have preferred it to be silver, but. It looks better. It's an artistic decision, which I don't have to agree with. Ah, look at you. 
finding your inner chi. No, I, I don't agree with a lot of stuff. That doesn't mean I'm going to get mad about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I won't be picking this up. I I don't want to start a collection. Well, I don't collect any of the movie figures besides 86. I wouldn't want to start with these. Well, you could just have a Transformers 1 collection. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, well then there you go. Why didn't you just say that to begin with? That's the, yeah, it's the movie. I don't want to start a movie collection, and I definitely don't want this to be the movie. Can, I wouldn't consider this a movie. I think, I mean, I wouldn't lump it together with the rest of the movies. This is a separate thing. I mean... This isn't the same as Rise of the Beasts. Well, or any of the previous movies. Well, then, if the, if I say that, then I have to separate eighty studio or uh, the eighty six movie, which I, I would consider that a separate thing as well. Well, I mean, then okay, so yeah, I, I mean, just like the gamer verse, that's a own separate thing, even though it's still in studio series. You know, okay, fair enough. Me personally, you know. fair enough. Then I do not collect movie figures at all. Okay, there you go. <laughs> We could. That's a much better way to say it. But you do collect this movie figure. Um, you'll be getting 86 Bumblebee. We talked about this to death. I think it looks pretty decent for what it is. Um, I don't think it's worth 25 bucks. But I, all deluxes are going to be this small from now on. So um, it is what it is. Not my cup of energon until they release it in white, blue, or green. And you'll pick up white, blue, and green. Yes. Okay. But the chances of them making white, blue, and green all of them are like negative so <laughs> we'll see if any of those come out yeah yeah this will get this is bought we've talked about that already bobby the bot is buying this too um next we've got some scans of the um the what's it called one of the magazines in japan i think this is cool I like the magazine. Don't get me wrong. I love that. But I, I mean, the figure is a little... It looks good in bot mode, but I don't like that. Um, Those arms. The arms. The arms kill it for me. They, like, I almost want to see if there's a screw or something that you can unscrew so it'll slide <laughs> so down. So it just slide down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that That's... Uh, I see a third party, you know, like DNA or something making a new set of arms for this guy that yeah. can collapse. Yeah, that's that's the a big negative for this. Next, we have Raiden. Oh, and these pictures are via Ink Frost on Twitter. Um, this yellow group looks really bad. Oh, because they didn't. They again, they just look like the same ones, but like they've been left out in the sun for years. The Diaclone head is great. I will give it to them. They did a good job with the remolding of the new head. But the yellow is just... It doesn't stick with me. Yeah, I mean... Are they going to release any more? <laughs> I don't know. Probably... I, 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 I am going to be a little cynical. I don't think these probably sold very well in the yellow colors. So they, they might be trying to see if more people want them to come out with more. Yeah, I, 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 I just, I don't know if, I hate unfinished sets. So I would be mad that I couldn't complete the set if I, if I did pick these up. Yeah. So now you're substituting limbs to, for it to go on the, orig the, the original release. And as you said, it doesn't look, doesn't go well. Yeah. If they completed this, the set that it's supposed to go with, then, you know, that might be another story. But, um, yeah, just kind of subbing in. And, and, again, they're probably doing it just to show off that what it looks like in combined mode. Um, but I don't think it's really doing it any favors. Yeah, especially without the other colors. Yeah. And, and I think that's why I think they look like they've been left out in the sun. Because I'm so used to seeing Raiden like normal. Mm -hmm. And then just two things are yellower than normal. Yeah. So it really accentuates that in my mind. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's get into third party territory. And Fans Hobby showed off the prototype. Let's talk about the boat mode. I think it's practically perfect. I really like it. It's really cool. I love that you can put all the mini cons on it. Um, 
yeah, I'm surprised this isn't something you know Hasbro showed off with all the mini cons on it. <laughs> Just dig, dig it in there a little. I'm bit still more. salty about that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what do you think about this? I think it looks good, um, and I I also was peeping out the mini cons, you know, and all the. <laughs> all the the different ones i mean it's this is holding eight of them you know which is you know a good size um it 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 looks good I, i'm really interested in the finished product yeah i think i think the the alt mode on this looks great but let's talk about the bot mode what do you think about this bot mode i i i like the hands better on this than yeah. um that was the first thing i noticed I like the um, the uh, details in the molding on it, like around his his arms and chest, shoulders, and everything. It looks really good. Again, I want to see some more color. It looks like the eyes may light up. Um, which they either light up or it's or it's pipe light, light piping. Yeah. One of the two. Yeah. Um, knowing them, they do typically oh. have a light up feature, so I like that, of course. Um, it looks skinny in the thighs. Mm -hmm. It looks it looks really skinny, and, I, and and again, I haven't looked at mine in two and a half years, three years, um, and I don't remember what he looks like in the cartoon. But it looks it looks skinny. Yeah, um, I'm very underwhelmed. Mm -hmm. I don't like how the knees look, which we'll get into the, yeah. in the next one. Um, I also don't like the head. I think Hasbro did a better head on this figure than Fantop. It looks too youthful. I don't know. I he don't, looks I don't young. Like he looks young. Right? And I don't, I, don't, I don't like that, especially when the other one didn't. But these, something's going on with these knees. They like can slide out to make them taller or they're recessed. So I think if they're slid out, they're going to look too long. But if they're recessed, like in the picture where he's standing up, I just don't like how tall those shins go. I and really don't like that. It's hollow. I understand yeah, that too. It has yeah. to slide up and down, but it, it's something we complain about with Hasbro all the yeah, time. Yeah, and, and for such a simple transformation when it just, you know, they, they could have copied the original figure and just giving it joints and it would have been fine but they decided to like re-engineer it somehow which is something that we talk about hasbro too don't reinvent the wheel <laughs> you know yeah. so i don't know i'm very disappointed from what i'm seeing hopefully that'll change but um tm reviews was nice enough to put a side by side with hasbro's and honestly at this point it's whoever makes the green one first i i don't i like i dislike both of them equally um, there's things about the Hasbro one that I think is better, like the head, and I like the legs on the Hasbro one. Like you said, he doesn't look as thin. Mm -hmm. um, but on the fans' hobby one, the articulation, the mini cons, and all that stuff. So whoever comes out with the green one, I'll just buy that and be good. Um, honestly, I think I will never be happy with the tidal wave because I just want a missing link tidal wave. <laughs> give it better fingers, give it knees and hips, and I'll be good. You know what I mean? I, but both of them tried to reinvent this character, which I really didn't want. Another thing, I don't really like these big chunky feet on the fans' hobby one. I just noticed those. Well, did you did you see that there's a size difference in them as well? Yes. So um, TM Reviews said that the Test Shopper fans' hobby is 16 inches. The other one is 19 inches. The Hasbro, or Takara told me is 19 inches honestly i like the 16 inch size better because i don't see him as being a titan never have um but again it's i don't know it's neither of them are speaking to me i uh, i hate to i don't i shouldn't say i hate to say it i i feel that i agree with you uh i don't really neither one of them overwhelm me i think i'm still le leaning towards the fans hobby because of all the gimmicks and things and it should scale with the megatron i have and and so that's why i'm leaning to it but i don't love it 
and this is this is actually ending up kind of like the jet fire i bought where i got it but i don't necessarily love it i feel the same way a lot of fans hobbies recent releases have not been like that looks amazing they're like okay it is what it is like they came out with the double dealer which was like perfect more or less like there's no other mp double dealers and it looked like it should have and then they came out with this figure which is fine and what was the other one um jet fire and which was okay but it wasn't like what i guess what we wanted so i'm sure a lot of people out there love them not knocking you it's just not exactly what we are looking for and also i'm not the biggest armada fan either so it's really underwhelming i i i bought in and i I, initially and i told you offline that i wasn't gonna i was on the fence about picking them up and so i kind of got a you know i got the the um what version of prime is that the um power links power links prime because i don't really like the line but i like the color i didn't go get the original i still don't have the original armada prime i picked up the shattered glass one because it was different as well but yeah this isn't really i don't know may, uh, i'm hoping that once it's fully finished that it will wow me more but yeah those those knees are that's the part that's i could deal with like the head and stuff but those knees there's something weird about it maybe they'll fix it yeah. um and maybe they'll give an alternate head that's like toy ac- maybe with the toy color they'll come out with the toy accurate head because i don't like that head either yeah he looks young. i don't know he does look young that's the first thing i thought about yeah and which, which maybe he's supposed to be i honestly don't know i know nothing about this character i just liked him when i was a kid <laughs> he, I made he, my he, own stories for him in my head. Yeah, he did look big and old, from what I remember in that, that cartoon. All right, well, let's move on to. Oh, I forgot. I put the picture of the mini cons because I did want to say these look like the best mini cons they've came out with so far. They actually look like fully fledged little characters. They don't have any weird janky transformations. Which look at Spark Plug from fans hobby look at leader one they're all a little weird these actually look really nice yeah they do now let's move on to i think it's fans toys they showed off some artwork oh this is uh another devastator and i know this, these have been leaked it's it's supposedly coming this year which is great but i am running out of space for devastators and everything else in general, but this is going to be very hard to determine which one I keep in bot mode and where I'm going to put them and how I'm going to set them up and this, that, and the other. So um, I'm hoping this is good because the big load from X Transbots was a really good figure. Yeah. So we'll see because you've got about four or five of them that you don't have yet. I do. <laughs> so. Not counting what I already have. Exactly. Next, we got this to go with your Devastator. We've got um, Unique Toys Dumber via June King. That'd be dumb. We talked about this a few times. The alt mode, that's why I put a picture of it. I really like that they went with this, like, alternators type of design philosophy with the doors opening. And it has an interior with, like, the wheels and stuff. But it's just not for me. Not my cup of energy on at all. Yeah, yeah, a little Chevy. Um, it looks fine. I, I I like it. It the alt mode. If I bought this, it would stay in alt mode. Yeah, I agree. Maybe they'll come out with it with a different head sculpt, and you'll be able to do that. <laughs> Next, we got this guy. So this is Toys Easy's um, the Iowa class battleship. I've got to say, I love what they did with the colors in the, this bot mode that pop of blue really helps break it up from gray and red. Well, I have this in the, 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 um, Japanese, the Japanese one, right? Yamato. Right. right. Yes. And it's actually, it's actually really cool. So it's the same mold. Uh, I believe, I believe so. I haven't oh. it, right now. It's, it's like the, it's in, um, uh alt mode right now on my shelf 
and it looks exactly the same um smoke effects and everything um so yeah i think, I think it, it's I think. different because i don't remember him having one gun arm well, the one yeah. turret on his shoulder it does it does oh okay maybe it's the same thing um, um the difference is the crown the like the statue of liberty thing but it, it comes with a, a ton lot. of accessories and a human female version cut out for whatever reason the other um, one did as well oh it did okay mm -hmm. there you go but i love these guns it comes with a so tremendous cool. amount of guns yeah because it's that, america that's exactly because the other one came with swords so yeah. um yeah the, and then even the, it has like a um a, a, a gun turret <laughs> yes so i don't have a picture of the gun turret but like you could see it as like null rays on his arms yeah. i think this thing looks really cool i if it wasn't so expensive i would jump back on just for a singular figure I really like the blue that they added. It really helps out. And I love the 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 crown that's kind of dumb, but it's kooky in the same way. I hate the crown. But I, I just wish it was like green instead though. <laughs> I hate the crown. I think like, I go think, all the way. Uh, yeah, I, and that was my when they first announced this and we saw the the gray the grayscale I was just like, yeah, don't like it. But seeing it in these colors it does look good. That's a crap ton of weapons. Good yeah. gosh. I think uh, I think this looks cool. So we'll see about the price. Because probably know, two eighty yeah. three twenty. Three twenty? I I think when the original came out, I wanna say it I saw it for like three twenty. I think I saw it as high well, as three twenty. Well they'll I'll catch it on sale because that's not happening for one figure. And I think yeah, and I, with that figure of all of them. Yeah. So now we got Laser Cat JGM01 Steelhead Commander, and it's posed with, um, I think that is Magic Square Toys' as RC. Mm -hmm. uh, so this Optimus looks really good. I think it's made by the same people as well that are doing the Predaking. Are you picking up this Optimus to go with that little RC? Or are you going to leave her alone? I'm leaving her alone. And sad. And sad. She has, <laughs> I ha she has Bluebird or Blueberry. Um, I, I got the blueberry and I got the the uh, ninja, um, so the three of them can hang out. I did put a pre order in on this one, and I'm going to cancel it. Is it too movie for you? Yes. I think they should have came with an option where it's a solid solid mask, and then you probably would have been fine. Yep. Yeah, yep. I never liked that about the, the the primes that from the movie how it's all greebly on the yeah. mask, but. I think it looks good. I can see why people would get it, but it doesn't really go with this RC either. It doesn't. It, yeah. it definitely doesn't. I mean, the they have smooth faces, and you know, it just They're it cartoon. looks like he has a gas mask on. Yeah, yeah, which would be cool in its own right. <laughs> so next, we got a pair of angel wings for Transart's Silver Bolt, and I've got to say, all of those points of articulation are really, really cool. So I'm excited to see how this works. I'm excited for you being excited. I probably won't pick it up because I have no other MP Autobots or Maximals. You were talking about how much you were going to pick this one up. I, I, it's mostly just to get under your skin. Honestly, <laughs> I wouldn't mind picking this up, but I just have nowhere to put it with. But if they do it in purple or Windraiser, I will pick it up. I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah. It's, I'm passing on this. Just like you thought I was going to pick up the Silver Bolt. Uh, from Hasbro, not gonna happen. I not never gonna. said that. You, had to... you thought I would. You said you you're gonna see it in store and buy it. And I was just no. I yeah, this well, is not. You still happen. got time. <laughs> Next, a quick update on the Doctor Wu Dead Star Scream. They edited it so he has a screaming face. Yeah. So that's cool. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> This, I think, is your most exciting thing of the day. We've got W Resources update on M01 Steel Fortress. The production is in progress, and it is huge. A couple of things to point out. Um, it's sitting on two water bottles on the picture on the right. So it could lean, yeah. So it could stand up. Um, that's humongous in itself. That Sunstreaker... That's the MP Sunstreaker. That mm -hmm. thing is like, what is it? 
eight inches? No, seven, seven, eight seven inches. inches. I don't. I don't know. Off the yeah. Point. yeah, seven inches. So it's huge, and this is what I want. This is what I've been <laughs> waiting for. This, yeah, I. I wish it was more G1, but it's not. So, uh, but it's just going to be cool to have something this big. I'm literally going to have to um, make some changes in my display. <laughs> when this gets released. Yeah. Because right, I, I just, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. Like, this is going to have to have a table to to like a, a, a six foot table to to be on so i can have it in base mode so i can have all the figures on it you know it's then you gotta buy duplicates of all the figures no nah, so they can uh, be in your normal shelves and then they can be on there no nah, i'll just change some of my shelf themes around <laughs> uh, go get duplicates you got nothing to lose um but i think this looks really cool i really like the pistons they put in the abs for lack of a better term i think that looks really neat um so i'm excited to see this completed i won't be picking it up but i'll be excited to see you pick it up yeah this man i think i think this one's gonna be over a thousand dollars if i'm not mistaken i thought the pre-order was or a thousand dollars yeah right. it was a hundred dollar pre um something like that yeah i think yeah well, let's move on to some incoming things. The first one is a dino for you, and the second one's a dino for me. First, we have the fourth party MPL Weight King Grimlock, the stainless steel version. I think you have this pre-ordered, correct? I do. Yeah, and I think this is good because it means that the shattered glass version might be coming out hopefully soon. I, I mean, the last I ordered them all at the same time, and because you um, got the comic version pretty got, fast, right? Yes. And then the, we haven't heard anything. Not, heard nothing else. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, and the shattered glass one is the one I want the most. Yeah. Well, it's the most unique one. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So, well, you'll have to let us know how this is. It does look very nice. And here's yours. Transar Dinobot. Yay. Dino Claw. Excuse me. Um, I'll be picking this up. We've already talked about it on the show. I'm glad that it's finally going into production. I love the picture of all the cards. I, I don't know why. I think that's so cool. Just see them all lined up like that. Um, yeah, I think this looks like a good figure. It's not my favorite one, but I do... Like, I don't have the MP Maximal collection, but I do have an MP Predacon collection. So this will be going with that. Yeah, I mean... Uh, this is another one I'm going to pass on. I don't so. blame you. If it's if it's not for you, honestly, neither of them impressed me like I thought they were going to. Neither of the Dinobot 2s impressed me. So I don't blame you for not picking either of them up. Cause... And you were so excited. Yeah, well, yeah. And then you see it and you're like, oh, it has single-jointed mm -hmm. limbs. Meh. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm trying too hard. I like, it looks I like good, the though. bright colors, though. I do like what? the bright color. I like the bright color. The yeah. black, bright red. Uh-huh. I'm waiting to see the, the, the price, though. So, we'll see. Let's talk about what's recently released. First thing are these two. Doom and Destruction, Chop Shop, and Barrage. And I could guarantee that these have been released because this is my picture. I got these in today. I am so jealous. <laughs> I haven't opened them up. haven't had time. But I did get this guy out to go with them. So, Yeah. They, they came out. Um, we'll, we'll do some sort of review or something maybe this weekend. So stay tuned for that. Um, uh, where, Box where, is great, though. I love the art on it. Oh, now he has to check to see if you they came out. No, I'm trying to see where my order is. You seriously doing that right now? I they didn't even send me anything like it It was delivered. Or it was, you know, shipped out or anything. I just came home and it was there. I, I feel... I feel... Okay, now they said it's arriving on Monday. <laughs> I'm a little upset about this. Uh, it's not the first time. So. It is true. Let us know um, if you guys are getting this and look forward to... We'll probably do something on this, I think. Yeah, definitely. Next, we got the Blockies Transformers, the G1 Seas Series 4. We got pictures by No Trab. Um, I didn't put all of them. There was a lot of pictures because there's a lot of guys, but I thought one with all of them. Now, you were saying you were going to pick this up. You still pick it up yet? I have not. 
the what throws me about this where does tarn fit in in this set he's just a popular character oh okay and you know they've retconned him to be part of g1 you know he was yeah so oh oh okay i think they were just picking characters that would have multiple people buying these so you have like the g1 figures and then tarn would be for like the comic book people you know no oh, oh, okay. he does look different than the rest of them yeah <laughs> visually mean, different yeah that's he just doesn't fit in to me so i actually saw a comment saying that like finish g1 first and then do everything else yeah like i understand nemesis prime and you know smoke screen because they're repaints it's easy easy money right but tarn is like okay somebody at hasbro really likes tar <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just it's almost like like uh we've talked about a couple of times where you know, especially with these multi packs, there'll be you know two, three figures in the pack. You really only want one, but you have to buy the pack. Um, at least with these, you can buy them se separately and hope you get a tarn if you were looking for tarn. But otherwise, it's just like I just don't see the connection. But okay, yeah, I still really like that Nemesis Prime. I think it looks really neat. I think I think these look. This set looks really good. I, I... Shockwave too. This the the metallic purple, or at least this picture makes it look like metallic purple. Looks really cool, and I love the little purple on the shoulders and stuff. They're doing a really good job. Yeah, I thought these were Legos when they first came out, like Lego compatible <laughs> or something. But yeah. now I know they're completely different. Yeah, I'm 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 still thinking. Yeah, go ahead and pick it up. We know you picked this up, though. This is Collection Space, um, the little red girl. I I don't remember if we said this was already released, but I saw that some sites have now have it in stock. I think it looks good. I just don't know. I wish they redid the head and the alt mode, which they could have done because it's a whole separate piece. Um, I would also have to paint the face over. I like the eyes. The eyes look really good, but they look kind of creepy with that skin tone like you know a little demonic with the skin tone you know so you know. yes yeah, especially with the horns <laughs> okay that <laughs> might now now i might pick it up <laughs> i'm just joking <laughs> no you're not <laughs> put a pentagram <laughs> instead of an autobot symbol oh my gosh yeah that it, it I, I i i do have it coming yeah so but you bought it for a good reason so. Yeah, I did. You, you didn't buy it for your collection. I didn't buy it for myself. <laughs> so, I think it looks good. I mean, I hope we get it in blue, though. And green and white. Correct. Mostly blue because that's the actual... That's Glyph, yeah. which is the female Bumblebee, which is the one that makes the most sense for this mold. <laughs> yeah. But if we got a female Bug Bite, that would be kind of cool, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, usually when they come out with these, it's just they could print money, you know, with releasing different colors. Yeah. And red is the most popular one. I can see you that. Know, instead of blue. Well, well, no, blue is actually a very popular color. So I don't know. Who knows? Let us know what your favorite color is below, and we will see you on the next one. Bobby, go ahead and tell them what they should do. If you haven't already at the beginning of the video when I mentioned it, go ahead and click that subscribe button now if you haven't. Also hit that notification button so you can become aware of any time we post new videos. We have a lot of stuff in the works. Uh, go ahead and and uh, join us if you know want to be a member. We do have a members only coming up tomorrow. And uh, it's not too late to join. Check out the membership tiers. Or today, depending on when you view this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oops. Because, of course, our members get to see it today. Uh, so if you're not a member, go ahead and, and join up for the membership. And we look forward to talking to you all tomorrow or... Or at our hall live. And we'll talk to you then. It. If you're just a subscriber, no pressure. We will see you guys in the next one. And hit us up in the comments. As always, to all debates are one. See you guys next time.